Well, so kind of contrary to uh, how far computers have come, people still need a fair bit of help navigating their home systems. They you know, do. And, and one of the things that uh, you talked to Jennifer about that, that really struck me and that I'd like to get into is your tech bar, which yes. is just such a cool, such a cool idea. We occasionally get questions at the, at the Tech Connection about pretty much exactly that of, hey, yeah. can you show us how to do this? So I'd love to hear a little bit more about, you know, did that come about partly because of customer requests? And, and how, how did you create that program? Absolutely. You know, that really kind of happened organically for us. When we opened our first storefront in 2014 on South Auburn Street, we had a thousand square feet and we had a single check-in counter and we eventually expanded out and added a classroom. Once we started teaching group classes, we realized that people really wanted to come in for one-on-one -on -one training. So when we moved to our now, our, we have one week left in our 309 Yale Street location, but when we moved into this location, um, we decided to establish a space where people could come in and get one-on-one -on -one training with their questions. And boy, I had no idea how much of a gap in the community we would be filling because so many people have so many questions about how to just use their computer. It's not broken. They just need to know how to use it better. And who are they supposed to call and ask? And so we've created a service where people can come in and talk to nice people who don't make you feel stupid. That's our, our biggest, biggest thing. And can help walk through things that are from basic to a little bit more complex. We have people come in and want help with how to send a text message, how to send a picture to their grandkids, um, how to Skype, how to, how to do basic tasks. And I think it's invaluable that we can provide that as a resource to our community. And the other big thing that really stands out to me about Tech Bar is how often I hear, I should know how to do this. I should know how to do this. I hear that over and over again. And I think, why should you know how to do this? Why would you automatically know how to use Skype if you have no experience using it? And so I always tell people, I, I love cars as much as I love computers. So I always try to relay things in cars. And I think, you know how to put gas in your car, but you don't know how to take the engine out. You can learn, but why would you automatically know how to do that just because you own a car? And so I really try to convey to people to let themselves off the hook and not feel that guilt. It's, it's okay to not know, and it's okay to know just enough for what you need to do on the computer. So we really focus hard on trying to meet people where they're at, at their skill level, and just teach them what they need to know or want to know so that they can go forward and feel a little bit more empowered when they step out the door and they get home and they can Skype with their grandkids, you know? That's our, our big focus. And it's been hugely successful and we love to offer it. And on that note, in our new location that we'll be in starting next week, um, we are going to have individual private rooms for that. And I haven't mentioned this to anyone. So premiere here. We also have murals that were painted by Gary Ann Van Dyke, a wonderful local muralist in each room. So they each have a different feel. And my goal with that was really to have a comforting, disarming environment where it's fun, it's whimsical, you're there to learn, nobody's on the hook, nobody's taking a test. And so I'm really excited to share that new space with the community. And it will be individual rooms rather than an open space. So you have more privacy, a little bit better sound control, we're, we're just, we're so excited to get in there and, and get people into our tech bar in our new location and get trained.